let's see if we have more words. Matthew. Okay. All right. One, I, I, to, to go to policy for a moment, uh, the, on what, your, the Western Sahara statement yesterday, mm -hmm. I wanted to, it, 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 two questions. Is the Secretary General aware of a plan by the King of Morocco to actually visit uh, Western Sahara on November 6th, which many people, some people call it a provocation, some people say it's totally within his rights, but it would be an I've, I've seen those press reports. And is this, is the statement in some way related to that? What, what's his message to the King of Morocco in terms of actually well, I think the, going the message to, to, to the, you know, the message to, to the parties, I think, is, is very much in the, in the message. Right. It's not a statement to the King of Morocco sure. or to the Frente Polisario. It's a message, uh, it's a message to the parties to mark the somber anniversary of 40 years of uh, unresolved conflict. But is a visit by the king at this time helpful to the, what, what the statement is trying I think to we'll, promote? Uh, we may have more to say on that later. Okay, and, and also on this, is it true that Mr. Ross, in, in the course of his journeys, has been unable to meet with the King of Morocco? Uh, I don't know. I will see when his last time. And, and have you heard about the, Ken, the case at the UN in Nairobi of the uh, legal staffer who's charged with yeah. domestic battery. So uh, what I wanted to know is, one, do you have any kind of statement about the action? But when did UNEP know about this incident? And I what's think, it going to do? I think you would have to ask uh, UNEP. I think they put out a press release. Obviously, anyone who is being charged for this sort of, uh, of crime uh, does not benefit for any, any sort of, uh, of immunity. So we hope that uh, the justice system runs its course. Good day.